It was pretty classic fare. Man goes crazy, axe murders his entire family, hangs himself, returns every night as an angry spirit looking for new victims. Good grisly stuff. One afternoon, we decided to play hide and seek. There was still furniture inside, and personal belongings lay scattered across the floor. I maneuvered over broken, <coughs> tattered, and crumbling, eventually coming to a small room with a closet. My only illumination was a slit of sunlight that shone through the crack in the door from a nearby window. I crouched down with knees tucked into knees. Some time passed, and there was still no sign of my knees. I awoke with a jerk. It was pitch black. Drowsy and confused, I forgot for a minute where I was or what I had been doing. As it came back to me, the realization that it was now nighttime and that I had been abandoned here filled me with sinking dread in the pit of my knees. I tried to get up, but a sudden cramp in my calf kept me grounded. I squirmed about, waiting for it to pass, when I heard a door slamming shut downstairs. This is my McDonald's order. What, one of my cousins? There was a brief period of silence, then footsteps at the bottom of the stairs. But not just footsteps, a thud too. After every other step. These weren't the footfalls of a child. They were slow, heavy, deliberate. I held my breath, praying they would go away. They did not. The noises continued to ascend. After another moment of silence. Ouch! Oh heavens! Oh goodness gracious! That spikes! Oh my! Yeah! Well I'll be! Yikes! I waited for what seemed like an eternity. There were no more sounds now, and I was trying to build up enough courage to open the door and flee. Three things happened simultaneously just then. I was bombarded with a smell I can only describe as fresh roadkill. I heard raspy breathing behind me in the dark closet, and I felt hot breath against the nape of my neck. That was enough for me to hurdle myself out from the confines of that nightmare space, relying on memory and scant moonlight to navigate through the darkened house. All the while, I heard footsteps chasing behind me, closing in with terrifying speed. It was a clumsy, torturous escape full of trips and bumps and blind stumbling. I never looked back, at least not until I had burst out the front door and into the country night. And when I did turn around, I saw... Absolutely nothing.